Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Daniel. I was at the latest webinar from DDL and I have an important update to give you and very interesting pictures to show, so don't go away. So before you ask, this is Vector 1.0, not 2.0, so I'll come back to this packaging in a couple of minutes. So as you can see here on this slide, the agenda for this webinar was Butter Robot, Cosmo and Vector, of course, and a manufacturing roundtable with staff in China. And I have pictures to show you. So again, guys, this um, webinar will be posted on the DDL website. It was long, it was about an hour and a half uh, with, some, with a lot of questions actually. And uh, you can watch that or you can watch my video. It's only five minutes and I'll give you the highlights of that webinar. So first of all, Butter Robot, I'll go quickly. Um, they had supply issues. Um, they changed the design of the base to make the robot more stable because Butter Robot is about this high. So, and the weight is at the top, so they had to change the design of the base. Also, the arm motion is 360 degrees instead of 75, so that's good. Better motors, you can see here on the slide, they are at the testing phase. There is an app, apparently, and I think this is the first time I mentioned that in my previous updates and webinars. I'm not sure if DDL mentioned that there would be an app for a butter robot. What is interesting here, in closing, is that they are supposed to have a prototype to show us in March or in April. And Jacob said that this garbage brain is making him laugh hysterically. So I cannot wait to see the type of interaction we can have with Butter Robot. And finally, they show the picture here of the molding machine. So they seem to have uh, the tooling, uh, or at least some of the tooling, in place for manufacturing Butter Robot. Now, Cosmo and Vector. They talked about the lifetime membership and the three-year extended warranty. I'm not going to talk about that here, not even for a second, because I talked about that a few days ago. So if you missed my video, just go back in my playlist, and it is right there. Also, one question that many people have, if you did the Kickstarter campaign, you should have the lifetime membership. If you're not sure, email DDL. They said that during the webinar. Kickstarter people should have the lifetime membership already. They gave an update on the escape pod. Better documentation, they said. Uh, tutorial videos, that is very good. Um, they are expanding their support hours. They said they want to support more time zones. So they are expandi expanding the hours. They did bug fixes in the Cosmo app. More support for educators. And this is something I actually told Enki. That was now probably like three years ago. Um, I told Enki, I was in contact with somebody at Enki, and I said they should do more for schools and, um, and for educators. So they have classroom bundles, apparently, and they offer discount for educators. Now you can see on the slide here, they have the, uh, also an update on the repair center. I'm going to go very quickly because I did a video on that a week ago. So again, go back to my playlist. One thing you should know is that when you send your robot for repair, they will do a cleaning at the same time. And also apparently they will wipe the data. So Vector keeps uh, pictures and also your face ID so that when he sees you, he says, hello, Daniel. So you should know that they're going to erase the data. There, there's some privacy concern, shipping a robot with private information in the robot. What if it gets lost or stolen? So the data will be erased, unfortunately. Now they show pictures of the hardware of Vector 2.0. You can see here on the picture. Very nice uh, slide, I must uh, say. Um, they said that they have 28 ideas for development uh, in, in the nearby future for Vector 2.0. Uh, uh, Jacob said that the tools are 
paid for basically to manufacture a vector. Uh, they showed the pictures. I know, I'm get back. I'll get back to you in a few uh, in a few seconds. Uh, manufacturing in China. Uh, at some point, there were 68 questions pending. You could see at the bottom of the screen. So there were many people, more than more than usual, I think, uh, watching this uh, webinar. Um, and like I said, the video will be on the not on the website. I think I think it will be on the YouTube channel of uh, DDL. Now, in closing, Jacob said that they shipped the first vector on January 19th. And they are currently manufacturing 1,500 units per day. He said units per day. He didn't say that you're a customer. My guess is they're manufacturing vector first. That's just a guess. So this is probably 1,500 units of vector shipping per day at the moment. And Jacob said this is not enough. They need to increase the production. So. This is it, guys. In basically five minutes, this is a summary of what DDL said um, on Butter Robot, Cosmo, and Vector. They had nothing on the overdrive racing track. You can see here the pictures, finally, of manufacturing in China. It would be nice if we could read Chinese, like we, if we could read the signs at the, in the background and even here on this uh, computer or monitor uh, screen if we could re if we could read the menus <laughs> to see what it says imagine you watch that and the sign says at the back apple manufacturing or or i don't know who makes uh, uh, everybody makes stuff in china but imagine if it says that in in the background now my 1 million dollar um, comment it's not a question it's a comment Jacob said he was proud that they shipped the first vector on January 19th and they showed pictures of the manufacturing. Why not show a picture of the new box during the webinar and say this is what we are making now 1,500 units per day and we ship the first one on January 19th. They did not show anything okay they had pictures of the manufacturing lines or the line of manufacturing but nothing in the box or not even a technician showing like a finished vector this is vector serial number one i used to work in marketing sales and marketing and uh this is what i would have done like show serial number number one vector shipping tomorrow to our first customer in Panama I don't know why they didn't do that it's again it's as if it's almost as if they don't have a product but yet they said they shipped the first one and they're making 1,500 units per day uh, I'm a little puzzled like I said in my previous two videos I'm a little puzzled that they they do all this they show nice pictures and they don't show a picture of a of a vector being shipped to a customer in the new packaging so i don't know so guys i hope you found this little update useful and uh, as always give me your comments below like i want to hear from you guys what you think uh, of the not only the webinar but the current situation with uh, cosmo and vector oh and also i almost forgot if there were so many units being shipped per day, how come on my channel nobody is, is saying in the comments, oh, Dan, I got my uh, notification or um, I got my vector uh, yesterday. Like, how come nobody is making a comment that they have a vector on the way? I, I don't understand. So thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Goodbye, guys.